pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a preview, a sports fan news preview to the ghostly take the Phantoms against the Charlotte Checkers that are 8 9 and 2 against a 3 10 4 and 1 Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Wade Allison's return that we hope adds a spark, adds an energy to Lehigh Valley. So maybe in that retrospect, it makes sense they called them up sooner, but it's kind of peculiar. It makes sense for the cap reason. Sam Wismer, who you, of course, a lot of you Phantoms fans know, season ticket holder does a lot for us on Flyers Nitty Gritty as well. She reminded me that it is cap reasons why guys get sent up and down, but that doesn't make a difference to this point of why did they get called back up when they could have played a game, which is nice to get them in the rotations of a game. Um, They could have played a game before they then go back up with the Philadelphia Flyers on Sunday with the big club, so it's kind of a peculiar timing just because the Flyers don't play until Sunday, but um, it's something that I don't mind, obviously, uh, calling people back up. The, 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 I want all those guys to get as much chances to be up in the NHL and succeed as they can in Wilman and Bunneman, so I'm excited to see that. I wrote an article about Connor Bunneman on Flyers Nitty Gritty if you want to all check it out, but it's just weird since the Flyers don't play to 6 p.m. Sunday. I kind of thought we might have Bunny, Willman, and Allison in this game. Now you have Bunny and Willman go back up. So you're going to have Wade Allison in this game. And then also a guy that went to my high school, Nick Master, who I didn't think looked bad in his first AHL game. Um, like we know with PTOs, you never know how long they're going to last. He got released from his PTO. Lifelong fan of the Flyers, lifelong fan of the Phantom. So we wish him all the best. Maybe he'll go back to Maine and dominate with the Maine Mariners, or he'll go somewhere else in the AHL and dominate at that level as well, other than just the ECHL level. But obviously, Wilman's been our leading goal scorer, so that's going to be a key loss. Bunneman's been a very good defender, a guy that uses his body while boxes guys out well, especially in the bottom six level. So he's kind of developed into his role, and that's what um, my piece was about on him. But when it comes to this evening's tilt, uh, the Phantoms are going to have to obviously play a much more aggressive um, style of hockey. You're going to have to play a much more 60-minute aggressive style of hockey. I was there for the game against Bridgeport, and it was not. It was a fun game to be at because you were right behind the net two rows back. But obviously, after the Cal O'Reilly, we had the first goal. It was all pretty, pretty much Bridgeport with four unanswered goals after that. So you got to be able to start it and then finish, or hopefully not, but if you go down, have some fight, have some jump, to be able to come back in the game. It doesn't matter who's in net, uh, whether it's um, Sammy, whether it's Felix, whether it's uh, John Gillies. It doesn't matter who's in net. Obviously, Ursan's been banged up this season, but I'm just making a point. Like, it don't matter who is in net here. You need to figure this out. The Phantoms need to get this done, and they need to be able to get back on the winning ways because you have players like Jackson Cage, who was the PSECU um, player of the week with a primary assist on two Phantoms goals and three game point streak himself that are performing well, even with Wilman, Bunny, and others going back and forth. So you got to find a way to put it together, get it going, get it going in the right direction for the Phantoms. And Ian LaPerry has to find a way to push the right buttons because so far this season, similarly to the big club, I think he's pushed most of the wrong buttons. So it's about finding the right strategy going forward to be able to get this thing done because you have a bunch of solid hockey. You have a bunch of really solid players that played for the team last year and did better, just like we have for the Flyers that played for the team last year and did better last year. You need to figure it out this year and get it going from the players' perspective, but also from the coaching perspective, because I think this is a systematical blah issue that the system's very blah. You got to, yeah, there's systems that works that are blah in Washington and in other systems, but that's because of the players they have. They've known it for all those years, and that's why it works. You have to integrate stuff. You have to do a good job at nurturing the guys along in your system, and so far, this far, I haven't seen the Phantoms look lost on the ice a lot of the time. So it doesn't look like they systematically 100% know what they're supposed to be doing. So I think that's something that's going to be the keyest thing going forward. The other would be obviously getting the power play going. The Reading Royals are double-A affiliate. Started off their game big with a power play goal after already out shooting the Newfoundland Growlers, one of the best teams in the ECHL. So if the Phantoms can do something similar to that, kind of come out with pounce, they're playing one of the um, better teams in the Toronto Checkers, not one of the best teams in the AA. So if they can come out with pounds like the Royals did against the Growers, who are one of the best teams in double-A hockey, then I think they can get this win and they can play really well in this game and finally end this bad skid that the Lehigh Valley Phantoms are on. They can finally get a W, where for them, it will be the first time since the 10th game 
in Hershey, which is a really long time, because for the, uh, for the Reading Royals, the last time they won, I think, was November 21st. So the Phantoms haven't even won since the 10th of November when they smacked Hershey 4-1 to in one of their only really good games of the season. So this has been a preview to the Phantoms and Charlotte Checkers. Got to come out with pounds. And if you go down early, show the spunk you showed last season. Show the rally value playing togetherness. And I'm not accusing you guys of obviously not giving effort. I think everyone gives effort down there, but show the rally value you kind of had last year, which was whenever you were down, it didn't really seem like you were ever out, where this year, it, when you're down, it does seem like you're out, and that's something that needs to adjust for this Lehigh Valley Phantoms team. But this has been a preview to Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Charlotte Checkers. I hope you all have a great, safe, and pleasant day, and if you enjoy the content, please continue to subscribe to keep us going and growing, and a special thanks to those of that, that have subbed this far. Let's go Phantoms. Let's get this losing skid over once and for all. You can end it here and you can end it before the Flyers end their losing skid to have bragging rights on the big club. Peace out everybody.